Wilhelm Reich was one of Sigmund Freud's best students. There's a lot of stigma around Freud because, aside from being the father of psychoanalysis and unarguably one of the greatest minds to have ever lived, he had the power to hypnotize his patients and manipulate them into gifting him all of their possessions. His clients were mainly dukes, royalty and aristocrats and one of his patients even donated a whole castle to him before she committed suicide. Freud obviously knew something we don't and so did Wilhelm Reich. Contrary to Freud, Dr. Reich alienated himself from psychiatry and hypnotism and decided to explore the unknown much further from his teacher. And he discovered something many would later try to hide with all the means at their disposal. In religions and cultures worldwide, there are many mentions of a mysterious force. Some cultures call it Ki, Chi or Prana, others might call it Ether, Akash or Mana. For most of us, in the western world, it's easier to explain it as a real life force from Star Wars. <laughs> Ancient religions believed that with the help of this force, one could heal diseases and eventually even cheat death. It turns out, this force is very real and Wilhelm Reich not only proved its existence, but also found out how to use it to cure cancer. Wilhelm Reich was born in Austria, in the family of a wealthy farmer. And unfortunately, his father passed away from tuberculosis when Wilhelm was just 13 years old. And their family went straight into financial ruin after. The unexpected death of his father motivated him to pursue a career in medicine as he was determined to help others evade the same fate. A few years later, Wilhelm managed to scrap just enough money to move to Vienna and enroll in medical education facility at the local university. He was fortunate enough to meet Sigmund Freud there, who later became a father figure to him. But since Reich was of Jewish descent and the Nazi regime was growing strong in both Germany and Austria, he was forced to leave to save his wife. In 1939, under the imminent danger of World War II, he ran away to the US, where he could finally focus on his studies and experiments. At first, by using a galvanometer, Reich discovered that the human skin had an electrical charge, especially noticeable in pleasurable situations, if you know what I mean. Later in his studies, he found out that this was the same bioelectric energy that we're going to discuss today, orgon. In 1940, Reich created a device that was meant to accumulate organ energy. It consisted of alternating layers of organic and metallic materials, mainly quartz, wool, iron and aluminum. His patients would sit into the device, which had the form of a box, and they would report improvements in all aspects of health, both mental and physical. Reich promised no cure and charged no money. Over a period of time, the patients showed marked improvement. Relief of pain, healthier blood condition, weight gain, and the shrinkage and elimination of tumors. After Dr. Reich constructed his first organ box, he tested it by putting mice suffering from cancer in it. He later compared these to a control group of sick mice that remained outside. The mice kept in the box lived almost twice as long as the ones outside. After hundreds of experiments, Reich was confident to test this on humans. Those of you who watch my channel often know that we do things here in a scientific way and that I rarely speculate, so I decided to replicate the Orgon device myself and test it. I didn't test it on him yet. I empirically conducted over 10 tests and the device I created worked 100% of the time. The device is called an Orgon Pyramid and just like Reich's, it consists of alternating layers of organic and non-organic elements. Organic in chemistry terms means that it's a carbon-based material. The tests I ran consisted mainly of placing different fruits, cut in half hanging over the pyramid and as a control right next to it I put the other half. The tested fruits that were hanging over the pyramid would spoil much slower. It would take months for a banana to go bad, whereas that usually happens in just a couple of days if they were not over the pyramid. But that's not the only benefit. The organ pyramid blocks EMF radiation and boosts seeds and plants growth. I even made a video about how to create one at home by yourself for under $20. I'll suggest it in the comments below and right after the video so you can try it yourself. 
So from a personal perspective, Oregon is very real. Now, I cannot say for sure that Dr. Reich truly cured cancer or not because I have never tested it. But everything else, I have. The seeds I place over the pyramid germinate faster, the plants grow taller, and the decomposition rate of the organic materials almost stops near the pyramid I created. And it definitely blocks EMF radiation. In the US during the 1940s, many people believed Reich's theories and they started doing the same thing I'm doing now at their homes. His discoveries got a lot of traction, he was becoming quite a celebrity. And because he gained a lot of influence, the FBI and CIA began to monitor him closely. And when he later had a massive breakthrough, in 1954 the US Attorney General filed a complaint seeking to prevent the interstate shipment of his devices and literature. That same year, Reich was arrested and thrown to die in prison. His books were mostly burned and edited and almost all of his devices were destroyed. Some speculate that the breakthrough he had would have shattered the big pharma industry. After he died in prison, massive misinformation campaigns took place, spreading among the public that he was a fraud and that his discoveries were fake. If that were the case, why burn his books? At the point he was thrown in prison, he'd been disrupting the medical industry already for over 14 years. So what could have he discovered? What was so dangerous for the US government? To answer that, we need to explore the capabilities of Orgon and how to use it. Reich claimed that Orgon energy is the universal life force. By alternating wool and steel, he created a device which is called Orgon Accumulator. He often sat inside it and described the effects himself. He managed to do something modern day science is unable to. He cured several of his terminal cancer patients. So let's assume he really did cure cancer. Then why was he thrown in jail? And why was his work burned and outlawed? Usually when you see that knowledge is suppressed, there are mainly two things to pay close attention to. Money and government regimes. And since his discovery wouldn't really disrupt the government, perhaps it would disrupt the stream of cash for someone very important and very high up the global chain of command. Well, as of 2020, the oncology or cancer treatment market is around $265 billion and it's predicted to reach over $580 billion by 8 years from now. And the thing is, the organ accumulator didn't just cure cancer, it cured major physiological and mental issues. The global pharmaceutical industry has a size of $1.42 trillion United States dollars. That's more than the GDP of 185 out of 195 countries. That's practically the GDP of Canada or Russia. That's an insurmountable amount of money. So despite our desires to cure cancer and diseases and to live forever, there are interests at hand that would prevent us to do so because there is money to build. Lost. Shit. Wilhelm Reich also developed countless devices powered by Orgon Energy. He made climate control devices, cloud busters, seed chargers, Orgon accumulators, pyramids, blankets, and Orgon shooters. And all of them were destroyed by the authorities. And he was thrown in prison after he discovered something even more groundbreaking. There's much more to creating Orgon Energy that can be said and explained in a single video. Dr. Reich was a real medical practitioner who practiced and graduated with honors from one of the best European medical universities. He opposed fascism and even wrote the book The Psychology of Fascism, describing why it worked and subtly explaining how to defeat it, which eventually got him chased out of Germany. He was a well-respected scientist and doctor in the US before he was thrown in prison. And now, more than 70 years later, there are a few working organ generators still standing from his time, and his granddaughter, Renata, was born just three years after Reich died in prison. Luckily, her father worked as an assistant to Dr. Reich, and he could pass down a lot of the knowledge he learned from him. Although she is quite reserved about the subject, from time to time she hosts free seminars and webinars to show people how to make organ and how to use it. She is a midwife that respects medicine and works with traditional methods. Yet she claims Oregon is 100% real, without trying to gain anything from it commercially. You can look her up. If this topic interests you, 
I suggest you watch my other video about how to create an organ pyramid yourself. And for the ones of you that are looking for something more and want to really understand the subject, I'll link a free handbook on how to create organ devices. I'm Danksu Soko, and this is Puitro. We thank you for watching Into the Unknown. And if you want to support us, give us a like, subscribe, and make sure to, to watch the next video. After all, it's closely related to this one, and it will expand your knowledge on how to build an organ pyramid yourself, and you can test the process firsthand. And Puitro's, this is probably Puitro's last video, because I'm trying to release him today. I'll see if his family will accept him, because he's been living with me for a couple of weeks. He was very, very small when I found him, and he was almost dying, so... Wish him luck.